Hello, everyone. Uh, this is day 11. Um, first, I want to say I had to break my detox of not straightening my hair because I got to auditions the other day, um, or yesterday. But that was not my, my choice because all my headshots, I have straight hair, so I got to do what I got to do. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about support systems. Um, right now, I feel like I have a couple people who are part of my support system, but generally, I feel pretty alone. And I know that's because, I, you know, I just got out of a relationship, and we spent a lot of time together. And so now, I have all this time to myself, and I'm finding it hard to figure out what, first of all, what to do with it, and I'm also finding myself trying to get attention from other people, so, you know, I'm texting a lot of people to try and, you know, regain some, uh, I don't know, sanity, or feel like I'm important to someone, or something along those lines, but I realize, which I know logically, I'm a smart person, I know logically that the only way to feel okay by myself is to fully love myself and fully feel comfortable and confident by myself. And that's why my relationships don't work out, because I am not comfortable with myself, I am not happy when I'm alone, because I rely on other people to make me feel loved and make me feel important. So when I mean support system, we are our biggest support system and we are our biggest downfall sometimes and I've definitely, you know, gotten to a place where I can't go on living like this because I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to be able to bring, first of all, someone else into my life, um, but I'm nothing is ever going to be enough for me. You know, it could be shopping a lot, temporary happiness, um, drinking, temporary happiness, um, even being in a relationship, it's only temporary because I'm not truly happy with who I am and what I'm doing. So ultimately, I you know, I reach and I grasp for reassurances from the person that I'm with. And it's never quite enough. Um, you know, they can do and say all the right things, but I just can't get there. I can't, I can't believe them. I can't just be happy. I'm addicted to this past version of myself that's addicted to obsessing and addicted addicted to not being happy. Um, and it's only because I hadn't been happy for a long time, I guess. Or maybe I don't think I deserve it. Um, so the best thing I can do for myself is be gentle. You know, if you make a mistake. Last night I had ice cream and Kit Kats and chips, which all three don't go well together, but I woke up this morning and I felt guilty, but it's like, why am I going to feel guilty? I'm only going to make myself feel worse. Why am I judging myself? I had a little, you know, fun night with some ice cream and some Z Nation and some Kit Kats. The best I can do is be gentle on myself. It's okay. It's not really on path with the detox that I'm doing, but it's still okay. Um, so, yeah, I guess the best thing that we can do is support ourselves and you know, feel good about who we are and what we're doing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.